Hey everybody, welcome to episode 3 of this walkthrough. Man, I really gotta start counting the walkthroughs. So, last episode, I essentially, like, embarrassed myself doing doing the Stranger's Mission and attempting to speedrun it. And then and now I'm just gonna play it straight and show just how easy it is. And, uh, welcome Flash Cannon. Are you doing okay, Kim? Can we start? Let's fucking go, bye baby, because this menu has no music and it's eerie. Okay, we got this. I know. Take a lifetime to tunnel through this. Oh yeah. The Cyclops said there were other ways into the underworld. There are other ways out. That means there are other ways <gasps> That's what she said. Out of her pussy. I don't know. <laughs> I'm starting this episode with a really bad bang. <laughs> God, God. For real. But they know it right. well. They can show us the way out of this place. Let's go. Oh man, I hope I meet my 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 boy Zagreus on the way. I want to see Boy, here it comes. comes. Also, I should say, these soldiers are really useless. There's a lot of mythic units that die in a single hit on this place, and I, I'm gonna leave these guys behind. I mean, sure, I, I wanna, they're gonna be left for like a life of torment or anything. I mean, do you want me to actually take them and save them? Like, just, just take them and keep them all alive? Because I could try it. You don't have to if you don't want to. Definitely don't. Maybe. All right, let's go. Boom. Show your guts. So yeah, okay, so these heroes are literally all that you need. Yeah, like, I, last time that I played this just to play test it, I killed literally no enemy with these, like, shades because I didn't need to. I just used them to scout, you know? Let's go. Yes? Uh, just, uh, just in between, I, I noticed that, like, the, the, the stream on Discord is really loaded. Could you try the loading back? Alright, no problem. See, you mean, like, see trying to reload works? it? Right, hang on. It's gonna yeah. be muted for a little bit. Let's go. Hang on. Uh, you know that right. typical, uh, have you tried turning it? Have you tried turning it on and up? No okay. boys left behind. Alright, uh, Flash Cannon said that I should save him, and so I will. Let's go. Wait, where is my... No man left behind, but they're gonna be like really behind because I'm gonna try to keep them all alive and take them all the way to the end, baby. Let's go. Oh, hello. Hey, See? Babe, that doesn't mean that you have to like do every single like just keep all of them alive. Forever. No, don't worry. It's gonna be easy. All that you need to do really is like keep them away from the enemies. Like the heroes are literally gonna do everything. Heroes resist to all the damage that the myth units deal. And they do tremendous damage to myth units, so like these three, they're literally all you need for the adventure. Like, trust me. I know, it's like insane how amazingly resistant these guys are. Yeah, and it's kind of one of the reasons why the missions that involve just fighting mythic units can sometimes really suck. Because like, it means that you're fighting mythic units with heroes on a campaign that are really fucking strong. So if you have like, say, five protagonists going on and like enjoying themselves on a mission and shit, like, it's gonna be a bit fucking, like, it's gonna be no contest. No contest! Also, the Medusas would yeah, freeze these like, guys in one hit, yeah? The, the sad little part as well is that if you're playing stuff like this, uh, since you have heroes that mostly do with all the damage and resist more uh, damage from these units, if you have normal, normal nice. fucking soldiers, they'll be fucking... Yeah, for sure. Bins. For sure, the normal soldiers would get killed no problem. I mean, for example, they give me the relic, the uh, relic that grants me the power of bronze later. Oh my god, can you hit those guys, please? Right there, you go. Chiron is actually kind of getting low in health there. Yeah, like, I was about to say that Carp is uh, sticking to all those hits. Damn. Damn. Don't worry, he'll regenerate. He'll he'll grow out of it. I'm just checking out to see if there's anything else. Right, let me take the boys over here. The boys are back in town. Yeah, it's really funny. When I was watching Melth, the, the speedrunner that plays this, like, this in Titan difficulty play this, he just described this as a mission with epic battles against fences, because literally he ignored all the mythic units that just powered ran through in the Titan difficulty. And, like, at the end, he's like, another uh, boring moment, another epic battle against the fence. Let's go. Right. I'm the gonna funny leave... thing is, uh, last time in the last episode, we're gonna actually try. Yeah, I tried speed running it, but I fundamentally never tried before, so it was a it was a first attempt. It didn't work. But now, like it these, did not work. it did not work. Yes, indeed. All right. I'm gonna put all it these shades into a single. Though. It was. It was oh no! Hilarious. Are they being attacked? Are you fucking serious? No, my boys, my beautiful boys. All right. 
I didn't think I was gonna need to, but I'm using bronze in these guys. All right, come on, man. Don't die. No man left behind. I can't believe I'm gonna, even gonna fail, like, making all of them survive. Right, everybody you know, attack. I love how you probably nope. could have used that problem thing way, way better. Yeah, I really could have. I mean, that's the thing. Bronze doesn't affect heroes, so it's fine. Yeah, two of them died. Fuck me, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so I couldn't even save the humans. The regular ass humans couldn't even survive. I've abandoned my boys. Yes? Even if they would die here, I'm pretty sure, sure they'll come back to this place. Just I mean, true, shame. they are dying in the underworld, so I guess it's like, it's like getting run over by an ambulance, you know? <laughs> it's kind of fast. Yes. Alright, I'm gonna use them. Come on, we don't even need them. Right, since uh, like there's a, a big, like, overrunning power of like Cyclops' here, I'm just folks firing. There you go. Come on, come on, focus on one of them. There you go. See, like, even all these fucking Cyclopses aren't enough to take down my heroes. Ajax, you absolute madman, you're really taking it. God damn. Right, Ajax, come on. I always feel like he's, um... Is he wearing... What's he wearing on his head, by the way? Because He's wearing, like, a... It's like a lion, uh... It's like a lion head. Pretty much. Yeah, okay. He, I'm pretty sure he has regular hair under that, but I think it's a really cool character design. Right, everybody focus. Fire. Hey, Jax, you can do this without dying, right? Come on. Yes! Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Right, my boys, they lost two men. Darn shame. My boys. I've abandoned my boys. Alright, as long as no one focus fires on Ajax, he should be fine. Right, oh, I think they're focus firing on Ajax. Nah, never mind, it's Kyrie. <laughs> yeah. I like that the, the heroes definitely have their own, like, uh, different, like, pain sounds, so you can actually recognize who's being attacked. It's a pretty interesting little, uh, detail. All right, boys. Let's go, boys. Uh, there is so many, like, uh, insta-kill myth units in this game. The, the human soldiers are really, like, fodder in this mission. I should have kept them, like, very far back, but... To be fair, I think, like, mythic units respawn at random locations in this mission, too. You, you'll see what I'm talking about. Epic battles against fences, everybody. Also, I've been watching the Looney Tunes show recently, and it's so, like, it's so obvious that this is the best iteration of, like, Lola Bunny that ever existed. Like, she is such a dummy, and that's so entertaining. Yeah, like, ha having such a dummy, like, personality is so amazing and so fun. It's honestly the best. Also, these are mummies. They're mythic age, um, like, units from the Egyptian mythology, and I actually really enjoy using them. They're like Medusas, but better. Because they don't just insta-kill a soldier, they turn them into, like, a, a like a, a zombie, pretty much, that fights for them. And that's really useful in defense. Also, they're really flimsy, so they're best kept, like, uh, on the back of an army. Oh, there's more. Let's go kill him. We got this. Yeah. Look quiet. Um, I I was um I've, I've been getting like a few messages and stuff because uh I uh in my room and there's a bad fish and a ducky in there and I kind of know that the two of them are not really getting along as they want to they hope. Yeah, I mean I heard and that they're fighting and stuff. That, yeah, they're kind of fighting each other and as much as I do love both of them I you kind of have to have to get a choice of like which one am I going to give away and so I put it a personal name and I've been like hey um I have this fish and she's a sweetheart can someone like yeah it's a darn shame that you like put like uh more than one fish you know like if only you had only kept the beta fish and the mud skippers I feel like that would have been nice and balanced. That's, that's like the thing. Um, I wasn't planning on getting a guppy at that time because I um, I'm, I'm a beginner fish keeper. I'm, I try my best. I try oh my God, to do research. Please don't lose under the board. Funny enough, my first plan was to get these uh, little fishies called Resboras. Like they're really tiny and they're usually they're pretty nice. Not like one. 
the smaller aquarium. So I was like, okay, that. But um, there they were more stressed out than I thought. And also a cat was. Apparently this guy at the fish store accidentally gave me one baby guppy because they really, really looked alike. Oh, so damn. the restorers died because of stress and they got sick, which is pretty much a shame, rest in peace. Yeah, that is but really much a remained. lot of shame. Honestly, the saddest thing is that you did so much research research on how to treat fish better and then like you ended up being one of the people that like causes fishes to die. And they're just the saddest I fucking know. thing. But like, at least, it, like, it wasn't because of like the, uh, because the environment was bad, for example. Because like, uh, I do, re do, I, I do oh, regular hello. water water changes, and uh, I have I, I have like the the some plants and stuff. But it's it was just like the fishes weren't compatible with each other, and. As much as the internet is like, yeah, sure they can like live together. Sometimes I just like, just kind of make mistakes in in uh, you know in practice. And well, at least I know um, if I do ever get like a different aquarium, at least I've learned, you know. Yeah, I mean, at least you've learned, and hopefully never will cost the life of another innocent fish. Also, I love the look of this area right here. I'm not sure yeah, what it's meant to represent. It's probably one of the layers of Tartarus. And you can see all these like hero effects of souls rising up. That's pretty cool. Also, I got centaurs for some reason. That's fun. I I, I wonder. Yeah. To actually be a city, like uh, I mean. I mean, it might be a, like a piece of the underworld that like involves something. I mean, I wouldn't say this is the Elysian Fields or something, or maybe a part of Tartarus, something like that. I don't know. But it definitely probably has some like some taken mythology so that's cool my like, boys like, I mean, like several layers of the underworld so, like, this must probably be, like, could one be of anything the higher I, yeah, I, feel, I feel like uh, i mean lower layers i think Hey, Tartarus is meant to be like the deepest pits of like uh, the underworld, and we definitely passed by Tartarus when we get, like we arrived at, 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 at that gate, you know? Definitely an important gate that those who know mythology will understand, but still. Oh, hello. Oh, these widgets are so flimsy, this is literally not that. Oh, hello. It's funny, they put all these uh, these monsters here, like as a as kind of like a, a friggin... A, like a, a little moment of like, oh no, your ships are gonna die anyways. But they are really easy to kill. I, th I think if you focus fire, you can actually like, fight oh, no problem. No. Fish. These are right. my Vesporos. Take revenge. Take revenge. Take revenge. Oh god, they're coming after me. Oh no. Also, this is a good moment to remember that like we actually had like a D&D &D campaign that was like loosely based on this story. When I say, oh my god, it's so pretty. When I say loosely ba based, I mean, like, I had several inspirations when it came to that D&D campaign. And most of it was, like, fusing Bioshock Infinite with this game. With this game's story. By that I mean, not only fusing... Oh my god, are they being attacked? Oh, it's a single snake. Alright. Gosh, they're so wounded. You know what? I'm gonna heal them. Where's my boys? There you go. <laughs> my boys. I've abandoned my boys. It was essentially, like... Fusing a story of an odyssey where you like go far away from home, a home that's you know prosperous to try and aid the rest of the world as like something very dangerous rises up with the intention of like a, of creating a rising threat that might destroy the entire world. Um, also the story of Atlantis, that, that was part of it, like all the players were Atlantean. Um, like, and uh, also rising, like f f fusing that with the story of finding a girl that's been locked up, like from the rest of the world, like for some reason, and uh, like having her experience the world and its ugliness in many, many ways because uh, lots of people killing each other. But this time, I actually made it more personal and inventive, because you know the players actually get to choose how they deal with her and how to like talk. So it's severely more. Um, it, it definitely was more interesting than just Booker the Wit's way of doing it. <laughs> Sorry, Booker the Wit, yeah, but... Like, uh, yeah. Yes? For example, uh, in the d that we had, uh, this, uh, this kid, uh, Myra, uh, we have three 
two different players that were playing the game at the moment, me and two of her other friends at the time. And all three of us were very different type of characters. Like my character, for example, Celine, she was a little old. She was determined. And she was like immediately like already trying to like take care of my because she was like, well, it's, it, she might be like, you know, the daughter of a titan, she's still a child. Oh, yeah. And then there's the other one, more of a general, who took a very, like, uh, a little distance, but still, like, caring in his own way. Kind and of a tough guy, I suppose. A, lot of okay. a little bit posh. <laughs> Honestly, it's important to state that, like, I made the story a little bit more personal, because, like, for example, uh, spoilers for Age of Mythology, I guess, if, if you can consider a game that's been, like, existing for years to be spoilerful. But Gargarensis, in this game, his goal is to open the gates of Tartarus and release the Titan Kronos, because he believes that Kronos will, like, reward him with immortality. But on my D&D campaign, the quote-unquote Gargarensis of the campaign, was actually, like, like his half-daughter, like, well, not half-daughter, but, like, a daughter of Kronos with a mortal, and she was essentially a demigoddess. So she was, although she was a kid, she was immensely powerful and sadistic because she was raised, you know, to be an absolute perfect murderer, I guess. And uh, she yeah, was like, like, you know, like, raising like, a cult like, in her father's that. command to free him occasionally, like find a way to open the gates of Tartarus and free him. And the, the you know, the Elizabeth Comstock of this campaign was simply her sister who was shielded from but like by their mother who like d very much did not want their daughter to be um time to use lightning baby like their mother who was very much not wanting one of her daughters to be like uh become a super murderer that releases a titan upon the world and uh in that manner you have a much more personal story and uh i really enjoy making it plus you know the way that the oh my god Kyron died <laughs> All right. Anyways, you wanted to say something? Uh, no, I was really gonna say is that it's very interesting to see, like, uh, the difference between, like, the two sisters, because the... Oh no, my uh, boys are attacking! No, boys, run! Oh, no, not the boys! The boys, they're back the in town! The so-called dark event of uh, our campaign was mostly, like, what would happen if, uh, if, if one of them is more grown up. Uh, like the titan and myra has probably have more of a humane upbringing compare comparing to sisters pretty much i mean so, she was raised and nurtured like, but also shielded from the real world so you know like she didn't have exactly the same kind of relationship with the world and like her sister and Krista did so like it was definitely a more uh personal thing plus i should say that you know boom all right i should probably say too that like uh they have completely different personalities and the players are the ones that actually have to like, you know, deal with that shit. And uh, immortal demigoddesses that are both super powerful with completely different upbringings, it's pretty interesting. Also, check out this cutscene, it's pretty fun. But don't acknowledge Hades. He's dead to me. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's nice to acknowledge that God's favoring Arcantos no use. and Poseidon just Poseidon ignoring his calls, leaving him unseen. What of Zeus? What of Zeus? Yeah, we've worshipped Zeus this entire campaign, man. I don't know what you're talking about. Also, I love that they don't even try Hades. Like, Hades is kind of put in the backseat in this story. It's a little bit sad, sad but still. Also, uh, Flash Cannon, if you're still there, I'd love to know if the sound is okay for the game. Let's go! Zeus, my homie! Forget, Thank my you. homie Zeus, totally not a douchebag on this campaign. Also... Uh, no, not at all! Yeah, ooh, another cutscene. Yeah, but essentially, I made a villain that's like, as sadistic and like cunning as Gargarensis, but even more personal to the characters and to the, like, his mission. Wanted to go reunite the family. But I do love Gargarensis, though. The old one. What of the Egyptian gods? Egyptian oh, gods, baby. Stand against us. And hence it claims Set has seen to be. Nice. Excellent. I love that the ocean is standing still, even though you have a motion on the ship. You will not escape me again. It's uh, the See that you do. beautiful quality of a 2002 um, PC. <laughs> you know. Certainly. 
<laughs> yeah, honestly, these cutscenes are usually like, uh, they're usually very goofy and like, but some of them actually are pretty good for for the standards. Also, this next mission is actually like pretty hard in hard mode. I remember when I was a kid and I was first trying hard mode, I got humiliated on this mission, and I did a couple of test plays when I you know, when I was you know practicing for for this walkthrough. And the last time that I did this mission, I aced it with flying colors so much that I'm actually kind of sad because I wasn't recording it and now I am. And this means that I have like, who knows oh, if I'm no. going to replicate the strategy. But you know what? Dave, the pressure's on. The pressure. But at least the next mission after this is going to be super easy. So like, at least I don't have to worry about the next one. But This is probably what you meant with the... Uh... So you have well, no I like idea the where we are difficulty then. spiking up and down Indeed. in this whole campaign. Hello. Certainly. Hello. It's Amanra, the newest character of this doing? campaign. We're... We're lost. I love his little shrug. <laughs> and I'm lucky too. Prepare your men. We have to defend this area. Defend it against what? This oasis I love it. Beyond water. A relic is buried here. My enemies are on their way to try to take it. What does that have to do with us? <laughs> do you want to die, my friend? Those exactly. Those are the only entrance to this oasis. Escape through them and you will run headlong into the worshippers of Set. You can choose to die there. I love that. Fight here with me. I love this because it's kind of like, uh, okay, let's In let's time. hurry and be very fast here. I love that because it's kind of like, oh, we both have something in common right now. We, like, either of us... We, we have an enemy in common, even if you don't know it, and you're about to face it, baby. And so, you have to be careful. If you don't... like, yeah, sure, you can, like, go ahead and leave us alone. But, you know, if you're dying, it's not my responsibility. And they're like, like, you know what? You, you know what? I don't want to die, actually. I think it's I think it's fun to not die. Alright, I need to put a wall exactly in this position, I think. Or siege weapons will try to destroy it. Let's go. Um, let me see. Yeah, those are little, I think they're called sand devils, pretty much. They're just, you know, that that's what they call them, but still. It's just, honestly, they are just like, uh, they are just little, small, tiny tornadoes. And they're very pretty, honestly. Right, so, oh shit, here we go. Alright, so there's three passes on this mission. And I think the setup of having, you know, three passes is actually really cool. And as a as a youngin, obviously, I was just like, you know, let's uh let's all defend these passes, and uh, all together, of course. And then like I I saw the strategy that this guy made and was like, my eyes were fucking open for the first time. Like seriously, it all makes sense now. You you're supposed to want to like just just clearly pull back, man. So you literally are just gonna ignore the fact that there's like three paths burning into two of them. Precisely. All right, let's go. I need to still get a couple of things here. Oh man, oh man, everybody double back, come on, run back. Oh, what, what the fuck? It's open. Okay. I did not close this well enough. I did not close this well enough. Whoopsie, uh, I might have fucked up the strategy already, come on. Because if the enemies come in here, they will kill us all. Oh. oh, this is really bad. They're already attacking, yay. Protect the villagers. Yeah, the villages are limited on this mission, so you don't you don't have a town center, so you might be real fucked. Can you help her build, Wait, please? Really? No. Yeah, there's no town center. Right, so I have a bunch of slingers on this mission, and I though I really don't care for slingers, um, like this is all you have, so you will make do, you know, make do with what so you got. So this is literally like all the villagers that you can make. Yes. Right. And all the economy that you can get. Wow. Okay. Precisely. That is fun. It's fucked no up. This is yeah, no this mission this is, is hard, hard, man. Plus, yeah, if all the villagers die, you essentially lose. Like, you will literally lose, because you need to build that relic thingy. Oh, also worth noting, uh, the Egyptian builders are the slowest builders that ever existed. Let's go. Woo! All right. Um, hopefully this get grants me plenty of gold. It's funny too, in the strategy that this guy has, he essentially like, uh, he just, he, he, okay, I'm gonna save right here just in case, but he essentially like, um, oh, I'm gonna use the cheat to reveal the map too. Lay of the land, let's go. Oh yeah, one of the times that I fucked up this mission, the enemy started coming from these sides, but for some reason when you get it right, it really doesn't happen. So there's that, okay, let's do this. 
Also, I've tried putting towers here before, but sometimes catapults will show up and just destroy them, and that's pretty lame. That is pretty lame. Indeed. Alright, let's um... Wait, also, they are destroying these passes. But the fact that I've actually beaten this mission before, um, by using, like, by, you know, making all the, all the thingies, like, by actually defending on, on the passes themselves, is a pretty in intense testament. Though I do prefer doing it like this, it's much easier. Especially considering that yeah, there's no, literally a boss later on. Easier. Yeah. Wait, so what are they trying to dig up? They are trying to dig up what seems to be a relic, but clearly looks like a sword. Oh. Right, um, Aha, so although I enjoy this... That is basically like, your goal is to oh, dig up the armor back. Exactly. So, it's a timed mission, but also it's time to how fast you dig it up. Oh, fuck, fuck, everybody retreat! Come on, what the fuck? Sorry, sorry, come on, come on. Priest, no, I have to defend the priest at all costs. They cannot die. If they die, I lose all my healing, so that's sucky. But it should be good. Also, this is the only mission I will ever lose, use slingers. They really suck. I mean, at least they're very easy and... I mean, in a game where people throw fucking bol bolts of arrows and sunlight at each other, the slingers throw feeble little rocks, and that, my friend, is just pathetic. It's not good. Right. Okay, come on. Right. Soon I'll just abandon my economy completely. Let's go. Uh uh, oh, it's because like you have like an army and that's like fine. Yeah, indeed. Put all of these Plus, on. I have a market here if I need to trade it, and I have a little upgrade that makes it so that like I generate food automatically. So that's fun. Right, see? Boom. Okay, I'm gonna try to buy some uh, upgrades over here. And by using the market, I'll sell some food. And now I have money enough for this upgrade. Boom! Oh yeah, I'm acing this. Right. If I put a tower here, eventually a catapult would snipe it from this area more or less. That would not be very good. Right, now all my towers, all, all my, like, villagers should be working. But yeah, if you lose even one villager in this mission, it's already kind of, it's already kind of a blow. There is one gold mine over here to the side, but the enemies will scout it to see if they are there. And this one is, is a gold mine that's actually exposed to fire from this area, so it's not very good. Oh, hello. Also, these enemy, these towers killed you pretty much instantly if you approached them. Trust me, I've tried. But, otherwise... That is not yeah. That is good to know. Yeah. Oh, no. uh, this Ooh, is your... What if I just like destroy the towers? Yeah. No, the enemies just spawn endlessly and it is kind of fucked up. Oh no, whatever shall I do? Alright, let's go. We need to you need to completely surround these catapults before they can actually walk away, because they're really annoying when they run away. It's so frustrating. Okay, I got all the upgrades, um, all my villagers are working in the relic, should be good, honestly, confident on this. So they're just repositioning them so we, they're a little further away. Good question, they're already halfway done, so that's good. Also, I mean, this is something that you're probably, you're the only one that will understand, but remember Sons of Osiris, there is one coming later on. No, you priest stay behind. So yeah, it's pretty funny too, on the, like, they're essentially a mini-boss, so you can get yourself real fucked up if you don't, like, uh, prepare. Right, let's completely overshadow them and take them over, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my god, there's so many. bringing so many, like, seat units, like, no wonder that you're like, you know what, I'm gonna put my tower. Yeah, like, imagine having to do with catapults destroying your walls constantly, like, don't get me wrong, I love defense missions. This is probably my favorite kind of missions on any RTS. Knowing that there's a strategy in different ways and something like that, and so creative with how you like, you have to depend on your resources and whatever. Like choosing, for example, to have more villagers building as well of like, uh, like more. Okay, please. Oh my God! If they come from the another side, I'm fucked. Right. Let's let's run back, please, as fast as possible. Like, yeah, the choice of having more villagers building compared to like a more resource gathering is so cool. Cause usually I'm super about economy in these games, but like, on this circumstance, it's like it's better to prioritize finishing the fish mission as fast as possible. Cause these waves gradually get harder, and I think that's awesome. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. Let's build more. Also, uh, uh, just upgrade your slingers, don't build anymore, and just focus on building Axemen. Axemen are not very strong, but they counter all the, like, spearmen on this mission, so it's fine. Like, Egyptian infantry yeah, in general is not very good. 
And honestly, if things come in numbers, usually it helps. Indeed. Also, it's worth stating you can't be have any more priests on this mission, just two. So save them. Make them make them like save them as much as possible. First time that I tried applying a new strategy to this, I really fucked up. Alright, all my axemen go after the boy. Go after the boy. Fuck him up, fuck him up, fuck him up. Oh whoa, boy. God damn it. Yes, 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 fuck him up, fuck him up. Right, excellent. Yeah, they actually do like a bunch of damage to the um Yeah. Yeah. Catapults are so fragile to physical attack, it's great. I think the super boss should be coming any minute now. Okay, almost there, excellent. If the super box is coming at all, that is- Oh wow, my, my lumber camp is being destroyed! Oh no! But yeah, in this mission you don't exactly build a real Egyptian base. Which is honestly fine by me, because the next one we will definitely build an Egyptian base. It's gonna be fun. Oh, you can always make another one. Indeed. Let's go. Also, uh, the, the catapults sometimes snipe these tents and you can't rebuild them, so it's kind of sad. Um, Alright, we're almost there. The mission is in the bag, and I'm proud of myself. As it turns out, putting not putting a tower here actually does work. It saves you on 200 gold and a lot of time build. building. Yeah, you, you definitely got to focus a little bit more on your... Um, this is a single fish here. Yeah. Can't build a harbor. Oh, here we go. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm gonna keep my soldiers behind here. Oh, I victorious. Nice. If the scarabs die, they unleash a bunch of blood that wounds uh, enemies, so I usually keep them on reserve. But boom, I won. Pretty efficiently, too. Would you like to watch the Egyptian short tutorial? No. No. <laughs> no, no thanks. Alright, this next mission is pretty cool. Oh, fuck. Is it gonna start automatically? Damn, I thought I could take a pee break. I don't mind. Let's go. It's not urgent. Sword of the Guardian, Let's go. By Horus to defeat Seth once before. Now one of his followers, Kemsit, seeks to take it. Also, Finish. Horus is not even really Finish seen as a good guy on this campaign. We barely hear of him, and it's weird. There is a Guardian at the temple, but it sleeps. If we return the sword to the Guardian, it will awaken. It seems oh, yeah. the gods have smiled on us. All right, let's do this. And we start with Slingers. Oh, joy. The Oasis that village very village to yeah. So we kind of... <laughs> There's a really fun strategy that I've seen of using a power teleportation of bringing your soldiers here and going around the enemy base. It's pretty funny. But I'm gonna keep these guys in the background here. And my heroes go forward. Let's go. Oh, hello. Oh, they're coming over here. Oh, oh, also these guys tank so fucking much and they regenerate, it's kind of hard to lose this mission. There are two dudes in loincloths carrying, uh, carrying like, fucking, you know, a sword. They really shouldn't be so tanky. Yeah. Well, I mean, you guys must have... They must be shredded. They are fucking shredded. Oh, yeah. Also, a Monra's special attack is jumping forward. It, uh, it like, comes in handy on speedruns. Where are they going? Where the hell are they going? Hey, where are you going? Where are they going? <laughs> Honestly, where are they going? Oh well. Okay, excellent. They actually hurt my one of my like chariot archers a lot. These chariot archers are actually some of the best archers in the game, surprisingly. They're pretty reliable. But you know, they, they seem to be a little bit flimsy sometimes, so you gotta be careful. But they counter infantry and move really fast. Oh, and they train really fast too, which is awesome. The only sad part is that like they're a little flimsy, so it's precisely like that. Uh, as with balance is uh, high, uh, uh, high damage, but just kind of sad. Exactly. Really as with many archers, it's worth keeping them in reserve. Fuck yeah! All right, stop focusing on that. Come on, man. It's just a, it's just a little tent. You don't need it. Let's rescue these guys. Oh shit. Yeah. God, these fucking slingers, man. They do so little damage. It's crazy. I mean, they're just throwing rocks at people. I mean, if the rock would be on thing, allow Ah, yeah. Also, I should say, although Amonra is very much a girl boss in personality, her stats are not very girl bossy. It's a little bit of a shame, but 
she's not much of a girl boss stat wise also there's a lot of gold here remember that that's gonna come in that's a surprise tool that'll help us later uh -huh. right bring at least five villagers to safety to the sound center oh excellent okay um, here. Excellent. I can't build anything with them yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna like. Aren't there supposed to be more? Is this really all there is? No, I guess there's 10. Right. I'm gonna like take five and leave five here to mine gold for me later. Let's go. Okay. But Sunny here is in first and soldiers after. Ooh, there's a fucking wonder here. Nice. So beautiful. God damn. Oh, yeah, I can send you more favor. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Anything related with um, yes. Oh, man, I wish someone was on the stream to tell me if the audio is okay. I legit don't know if it's really annoying. I mean, one thing that I noticed about my audio is that like my mouse clicks are so loud. I really wish you could somehow like get noise suppression for that. Yes. If you have like the same setting. Definitely. Also, since these mu mummies can pretty efficiently clear out my soldiers in a single hit, like, uh, I'm keeping them in reserve. Let's go. Alright, I just need to bring five alive, so it should be good. Alright. Oh, oh no, plague of serpents! Yeah, these serpents. Oh god, come on, man. Villagers run away. No, what will I do? They're so weak, honestly. They're mostly good for distractions, actually. Pretty efficient distraction, too. Right, Sir Bearer, come on. Oh my. Look, yeah, these soldiers, these trained soldiers in chariots are legit dying to snakes. I mean, to be fair, some of these trained soldiers are using fucking slingers, so there's that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's keep going with this. Fucking slingers, man. Amazing. Alright, let's keep going. But yeah, this will be the first mission in which we actually do some good old um, base training. And it's fun too, because it actually starts like this, you know, like a, a, a baseless mission. And then they get basey. It's awesome. Alright, there's fuck. Absolutely. You just have to get a base like, oh, build a base, bring it in. There's one where you have to build a base, but also have limited resources. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing, like, you need to have variety on these things, and the campaign provides nothing if not variety. And it's great. Absolutely great. Alright, let's keep moving. It was a fucking... Sheepsikaf. Sheepsikaf. Alright. Ships is scuff, actually. Huh. Right. Oh yeah, fun thing about a lot of these, like, um... Yeah, they're, they're like, randomly generated, it's fantastic. They're randomly generated, and they're really fucking funny. Let's go. Alright then. Fuck yeah! Alright, let's go start gathering resources all over. No. So, yeah, this mission is pretty trivial, honestly. It's fun as fuck. Alright, boom. And then I already started like getting some gold here. It's fun. Oh, and let me use Lay of the Land now. Lay of the Land. You can see here that there's several allied cities around in the surrounding areas that like we're not gonna do anything with. And the enemy keep is really massive, honestly. And uh army is returning to the city. Right, excellent. Right, I'm gonna be like making villagers non-stop. Oh, hello. And there's free fishing spots right here, which is awesome. <laughs> right. And also one thing that should be known about Egyptians, like... Oh, look at that. They're destroying everything. Just spawning like that. The Egyptians method of like, they gather food so efficiently for whatever the fuck reason, and it's pretty hilarious. It's just something that like is second nature to them. Alright, let's move over here. Munra put the relic in. Oh, we got a free catapult, even though we can't go to the mythic age in this one. What? Where is. There you go. Oh, also, I'm not prioritizing um, good old. What's the word? I'm not gonna prioritize getting all those. What? The, all these farms? They're not good. Fuck. No. No, thank you. 
And, like, honestly, this mission is so uh, pleasant with its placement of everything. It's honestly a joy. Thank you, but I will not be using it anytime soon. Oh, oh yeah, well, here we go. Precisely. Honestly, like, uh, I enjoy playing Egyptian somewhat. It's kind of like... It really depends, honestly. Like, some of the missions are just crazy hard for Egyptians, and that's just no, no good. Damn. But, we'll see. Mostly because of the way that they function, I guess. Though, I've seen very often that, like, they are the ones that are most OP in competitive play. Like, people play Egyptians so insanely aggressively, it's intimidating as hell. Right, uh, I'm gonna keep quickly bring my army a bit, like, further here, just so we can defend these laborers as they build things. But also, the pharaoh makes them build faster, thank goodness, they, they build so slow, usually. Yeah, that's, that's like the cool part about the Egyptians, that the Pharaoh is actually incredibly useful, especially like when building your base. And because since the Pharaohs actually make everything build a little faster, you'll definitely be more efficient in your base building. Uh, I don't remember which god it was, but one of them actually does give the uh, priests the opportunity as well to do the same thing. Oh yeah, like, uh, the priests of Ra can empower things. Like, for example, I'm gonna send this priest to empower this, and I'm gonna send this priest to empower that, and you'll see that they're actually very much, like, getting themselves some free boost, baby. And it's yeah, really, really helpful. Really nice. Precisely. Which is why, like, w when you're worshipping Ra, it, it, it's a little bit good to just, like, have as many friggin', like, uh, what's the word? Just have some priests just boosting everything like for funsies oh what well, that was that was a spin that was a spin i'm gonna build like a god damn it sometimes my mouse wheels a little fucky wucky but yeah the pharaoh also doesn't really move on his own like doesn't move on his own following the villagers so sometimes it can be a little fucky wucky to adjust it yeah you gotta like uh take a little uh yeah you gotta mind the pharaoh where it was like the Egyptians kind of literally had like one arrow like boost a thing where nothing was happening for like 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's honestly like, come on man, you're just boosting nothing. That is worthless to me. Yeah, but honestly, like, with Egyptians it's still good to have like different people um, like, ble like building separately and stuff. But like, most of the time they'll be so weak, it's insanity, you know? Nope. You, need to, you need more food, by the way. Definitely. definitely I'm definitely focused. There are fishes here, yes. Or am I just crazy? Like? There. Oh. Yeah, no, there's like a couple of fishing spots. Really Nothing right, like. By the way, like. Yes? Um, wait, go to the fishing spot? Like, what? Are you using all of them? Um, I am. One here, one here, one here. And I think there's only one here. You know what? I'll take that one too. I'll take it for everything it's got. Let's go. Do so, it. let's fucking go. And I'm gonna make some more priests too. Priests are pretty much the best fucking, like, uh, healing units that exist. Because they help you with, like... They use, um, yeah? And they also do, like, great damage against, uh, myth Yeah. Units. They, like, they're ranged attackers against myth units, and that, my friend, is something that's just invaluable. Especially because, like, you know, <laughs> it means that you can attack myth units from behind the wall while doing the, the special damage, and that's really good. Uh, let's hope they move. Um, what else? I mean, I'm gonna have to move to those farms eventually, and that's pretty sad, but still. And, you know, like, once my food uh, culture is booming enough... I think it's booming enough. I'm gonna get this upgrade. Oh, nope. And then go for the next stage. Right, you get to make the first decision. Do I go for furry or the shirtless, half-shirtless guy? Mm, let's see. Honestly, uh, starting with the cat girl might not even be so bad. Technology? I mean, come on, we have to go with the cat girl, let's be honest. Yeah, I, I will say something also, the too. the other one that does, like, upgrades for, like, fires, and then, like... <laughs> no, no, not really very needed. I gotta say, uh, well, something really fun. You can use a really good strategy with this power shifting sands on this, on this, like, this mission. But at the same time, it's so fun to just pick the cat girl always. She's one of the best classical age gods. The Sphinx is a really good mythic unit, and she gives really good upgrades to your economy. So, honestly, really reliable. Cat girl, cherish your cat girls. Let's go. Let's go with a furry. 
Literally, the really cat girls are the backbone of our society. They really are. Here. Have you ever seen a trans girl cat girl? They they do so much for the economy. They do. They do. <laughs> right, let's build a couple of farms around here. Yeah, because you're definitely like food is one of the things that you're just lacking, really. Indeed. Yeah. We're just gonna just get a, a little bit of food, but you'll, you'll get it. Precisely. Sure. Right. These two um, guys are gonna be also boosting things. Also, this is the best and final monument. You have a limited like amount of monuments, but getting this is pretty fucking good, I will say. Because uh, it's the one that grants you the most favor, and if a pharaoh is blessing it, you'll be getting constant favor, nonstop. These guys so lonely over here, goddamn. They look sad. See, oh, there's a single villager over here, all right. Laborers, they say. All right, it's gonna be good to get to this next age because I'm gonna have to like um, upgrade a lot of things. And potentially, if I have enough food. Oh, what the hell, y'all? Get to work! Okay, everybody, come on. What you doing? You slifer slackers. All right. Honestly, having fish and other forms of like food gathering at the same time is such a good strat. Right, uh, shit. Okay, y you two need to come over here and build things. Immediately build two towers here. <laughs> Let's go. Still worth it to like, uh, come, come on, come on, come on, yes. Alright, all these priests are gonna be really helpful for healing, you know what, I'm gonna kill off the slingers immediately, fuck y'all. Do it. Hello? Um... Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> don't worry, it was kind of a hello to see if my priests were active or something, I don't know. It was an oh, instinctive hello. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I, I suppose it works both ways, you know? It was like a hello? It was a hello. And I, yeah, you can bow this one here. Uh, I don't... I don't know why, but like, I. Sometimes whenever I'm like seeing something scary, like, instead of. Like, ah! Or. You just go like, hello? I just go like, hello? Yeah, I feel that. It's just kind of a hello. Oh my god, come on, man, move. It was more in like a very scared type of. Movement. It's like a hello? Hello? Bonjour, you know? Precisely. Alright, let me see. Yeah, every villager that's placing food here, because the priest is blessing it, is like essentially giving more food. And that's pretty fucking helpful, gotta say. Right. Uh, come on. Hey, I have a... I have a... Speaking of hellos and stuff, I know that, like, in every single language there's always, like, an informal way of, for example, like, saying hello or bye-bye. And I wonder if there's like any really funny and like types of way of saying hello or bye in Portuguese. Um, I'm trying to think of it. It's kind of like I don't know. Like I feel like a lot of the funny things about Portuguese language are just like completely subjective. But I suppose like like there's so many different fucking uh, like slangs and whatever that I've never used because I'm such a squire. Alright, building two sphinxes immediately. Babe, I thought you were rad. Uh, you thought you, you thought it was rad. You thought it was radical. You thought it was awesome. No, I'm actually. No, I thought you were rad. Like When they say be there or be square, and you're not there. And when they said be there or be square, and you're round. This says like, oh, they're attacking another city. All right. See, I'm essentially dividing these guys to build like differently, and this speeds the whole process up. Yeah. So this army is not unbeatable. But it's really strong. They got champion elephants, mythic age units, and pretty strong units overall. Uh, but you will lose if they reach the last thing and you haven't conquered the guardian yet. So it is like secretly a time-based mission. Which is a shame because I once was like, I'll totally try and beat this on my own accords. Because I'm sure I can beat this this army on my own go. And then I failed. Because they, they just said, you, you failed. You, you just fucking died. So what is the, um, what's the goal of this mission? I need to tick to them. I'll, I'll explain by showing, but let me just quickly build these three things here. But I need to take these sword bearers over here to this guardian over here. And uh, I need to do it without dying, of course. And it's pretty doable, it's not that hard of a mission, but... And the strategy of like, uh, fucking, what's the word? And I'm surprised they haven't attacked me once yet, so, sorry, excuse me. 
Maybe like, they're just being very nice. Maybe also, they're just they being very kind. Have, you have uh, a lot of arms already going on, you can use the green power. Thank you very much for reminding, babe. This is actually very good. All right, let's go back to... Uh, you were saying that, like, uh, you do have a lot of people on food right now, but food is definitely one of those things. It's never a bad thing to have enough food. You know? Precisely. Alright, let me see. Precisely. Oh, and I can get to the next stage already, which is pretty awesome. Let me see. Um, they're still building. But I can get a bunch of upgrades immediately. Come on, divide, divide. But yeah. Wait, what was I talking about before? Uh, you were about the goal of the mission, and. Yeah. That it's yes. like. It's not if a the very armies hard thing. reach the middle of town here, I lose. Which essentially means they gotta destroy this entire village and everything. And also move to the to the last place. It's a little bit annoying because it would be really fun to try to beat this mission on my own accords, but still. Uh, I'm gonna put two more villagers here, then I'm gonna go to the next stage. Okay, your decision. Cowgirl or cat girl? Two. Uh Okay, so her profit archers is better it's the buildings. Let's go for uh, for the other cat girl, because like, let's go. You are not going she to has a six pack, man. So, yeah, certainly. She has a fucking six pack, man. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm running out of gold here. It's a bummer. <laughs> but they'll get there eventually. Honestly, she's I mean, fun to take to, uh, and use purely for the sake of like, uh, how like deal, right? she's kind of a hottie, though. Yes. Uh, Make a market next stage, right? So you I can. can potentially use that. Oh man, that's a good idea. I could make markets with these guys, and the camels are going to travel all the way through the desert to my town center. I also, I mean, like I said before, I'm not of a, I'm not a real big fan of missions that like don't give you extra town centers that you can take like on the distance. But and this is one of them, sadly. If there was a town center that you spotted, like a, a settlement around here, I think it would be a great idea. It would reward backtracking a bit, which is a little bit of like, it's not exactly a waste of time, but it is something that takes a, a bit of effort and exploration, you know? Oh, now they choose to attack. Come on, man. Oh, are they going around? Yeah, they're going around. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. Okay, okay, let's get back, All right? You d you specially catapult, come on. Oh man, this is, con this is, this is a mess. This is a big mess. <laughs> shouldn't have poked that bear, really shouldn't have. Oh no, my catapult, I only have one! What are you idiots doing? Come on! Also, you're gonna be able to see the sphinxes and, and, and fucking- Oh my god, they destroyed my catapult. I am such an idiot. Well, that's my best siege weapon gone. Yes? Uh, and whenever they attack, they like transform into this like really tiny little tornado, which is really cool. Yeah, they do a lot of damage that way. Also, and it's this is the power of, uh, I think, uh, Segment, right? Segment, yes. Her power is essentially yeah. making a citadel, the stronger town center in every regard, but it's really not as useful as you'd expect, I'd say. Like, it, it actually really. j just tends to be like, uh, oh, this is a bigger town center, and you're probably never gonna use this to defend. But if you did, it was gonna be one book of town center. <laughs> it sure it would. Time, like, it does look really cool. Yeah, it so... does look kinda cool though. Also, they have a fucking market right here on the way. The jerks. This is this is on in the way, man. I can't destroy my allies market, sadly. Yes? It's fine. Nah, it'll it's be fine. fine. It'll be okay, probably, maybe. Hopefully. Yeah, but I can't make catapults until the Mythic Age because they're so good. So I'm just gonna have to make do with what we got. It's a shame, but I it mean, is what you it can is. Speed run. <laughs> speed run strat, let's go. Speed run strat, completely ignore these guys. Plus, I mean, making these fortress units are always a better idea, you know? For right. sure. Um, yeah, mm. because segment, um, it, it's, uh, it gives you siege units and archers and. I think camels are, uh, are, are they? Uh, they count, or? They're cavalry, they're cavalry, but the, the chariot ar archers are archers, so they do get a little tiny boost. Alright, and yeah, now... Those are actually really, like, pretty fun. Indeed. 
Also, I'm gonna move my soldiers out of the way. It's really hilarious how they choose to attack at the worst possible fucking hell. Right, I'm gonna like send a bunch of my camels here. One, two, three, four, five. Boom, there. I think that's enough. Hopefully, they won't be very much in the way, but you know what? I'm gonna start harvesting gold on this gold mine over here to be less in the way. I'm gonna destroy this here. Did I take all the upgrades I can? No, I did not. Here's some new ones. Yeah, I'm already destroying this one from the way here. They are gonna walk through this entire desert, gonna reach the town center and bring gold back, and that's really good. Let's go. Oh, these guys are gonna get fucked. The more, uh, the more, um, the further away. It. So Definitely. that's why you always see, um, if you're playing against a, a, a computer, for example, in like kind of like a free play, they always put the market in like the biggest fucking corner that they can, which is funny because like you always, when you have them and they're still like, oh, still not done yet, you, we always just go always Precisely, like, there's always a market in a far little corner that you can ambush and destroy. It's like, oh my god, we are so predictable. Indeed. Honestly, the computer can be very predictable sometimes, but that predictability can lead to some very funny strategies. For sure, right. Upgrading my chariot archers, because I got a bunch. And I think I'm going to get more people harvesting lumber, since, you know, since now I'm at a situation that I actually need it. Because chariot archers cost a lot of um, uh, lumber. 75 gold per each little camel. Huh, that's something. Well, that's certainly going to help eventually. Eventually. Right now I can destroy these because I don't need any more. Um, changing food for this boom. Okay, this should be enough. Sadly, on the mythic case, there's an upgrade that makes um, it, it makes the chair the camels travel further and faster. But I don't have that upgrade. I don't have access to that. Okay. All right. I need to I need to get get this show on the road. I'm gonna save the game right here because I've been stalling a bit, and I lost my one catapult, so that's gonna be a bummer. And I think I'm gonna kill off some villagers that are on food. Because I... Sorry. You, you will be a necessary for the culling. You are occupying spaces that troops need to occupy. Let me collect the dislumber over here. May as well. And uh, these guys collecting gold here. These guys collecting gold here. You know what? Die, 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 die. Alright, what else? I'm thinking here. Oh yeah, also chariot archers, they are trained really fast even without any upgrades, which is one of the best uses that you have for them. Right, you know what? Let's do a, an attack. I'm gonna go over here. Um, the sphinxes are gonna be very powerful because of the eclipse power. Come to think of it, it would have been better to have more sphinxes, but fuck it, let's go. And if needed, I'll use the resources I still have to make a backup army to save the if, to save my soldiers if they die. And let's go. Oh. Yeah, they... yeah. I mean, sometimes it's good to have, like, units already on the backlog waiting to be made, and you know? That can really help. Because then you can immediately send reinforcements back. And, you know, here's a strategy that I use. I ang angered them, and now I'm going to go back to where my towers are. They're going to be mowed down alongside all the others, even his pharaoh, which is great. Come on, we got this. We got this. Come it's closer. It's so funny because like the enemy has a power where you where you have like uh, animals fighting for you, and imagine being mowed down like a giant giraffe. Yeah, I mean, imagine just being lured to, to this and just being like picked off one by one. Oh my god, what the hell are you doing over there? <laughs> what were they two doing? What were they thinking? Alright, we need to kill this Pharaoh. He's really, um, like, he's fucking up my myth units. Pharaohs can really damage myth units in the later ages, because they're so strong. Oh, would you look at that before he did? Absolutely destroyed. See, my Eclipse power ended, sadly, but, you know. Well, and okay, I mean, at least you got your, um... Yeah. At least you Pharaoh dead, so, like, that's already, like, a very good yeah. thing. Also, I mean, he will return, for like, sure, but... Are... Yes? How far is the uh, enemy from destroying things? Well, they're not here yet, so they need to destroy an entire town and then come. So I think I still have some time. They need to come. <laughs> oh shit, my gold production stopped. 
funny enough, your um, it's a uh, wood that actually is uh, a little uh. Nah, I don't have an issue with that. We'll get there eventually. We get there when we get there. All right, I'm gonna make a reinforcement well, army you, already. You, getting... you have yes. so much resources. Oh, wait. Not anymore, but. Yeah, I mean, I, I spent several of them, but you know what? Let's keep going with this attack. Yeah, they are the mythic age. I'm not, which is really sad. Like, come on, man. I, I appreciate. I would appreciate being let in the mythic age club, baby. Let's go. Right. It's like, oh my god, you're like not cool enough. So I'm not cool enough. I'm not allowed. My 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 <laughs> privilege as mythic age have been revoked. Yeah, there's also like this aspect of like, oh my god, they got more animals to be mowed down. Come on. That finally, Jesus, yeah, that's a really big monument. I'm gonna double back here, let's go. Is, let me check, oh wow, palm tree. Come on everybody, can you come back please? I can't go to the next stage, they don't let me. Oh wait, no, oh, this is the only game you can go to. Yeah, I can only go to heroic, sadly. I mean, it's not one of those missions where I can only go to classical, that would be really sad, but still. No, you can you can stay over here, man. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm essentially like doubling back and mowing down the vast majority of their forces like this. Alright, we can heal a bit right now. Is there yeah, see okay, they're attacking the last city. Let's go. We got this. Oh, another pharaoh to be murdered. Gotcha. Right, now we continue. There's only like a gate to break down, and then this to break down, and the sword can already make a run for it. But I want it to be a clean entrance, you know? Oh, this guy got annihilated, damn. Oh, there's a single spear guy. Unupgraded. Destroyed. Come on, come on. Oh yeah, Chiron is taking so many arrows right now. What a champ. But there's fucking Rhino attacking me? All sorts of crazy things with set. Let's go. Clean up this fortress out of the way, and then the wall should be plenty to take down this entire place. Yeah, they have like a town center and you have a whole town here, but really I don't usually break it, like take them down. All right, let's um quickly, yeah, let's fight. See, they have so many stunning forces here they can really fuck them up. But you know what? I'm gonna have all my sphinxes break down that gate so I can get in. Focus fire on the Avengers. These Avengers are really dangerous. Yeah, these Wadgets are also extremely flimsy, but they actually surprisingly do a lot of damage. Like, I actually don't hate training them. It's mostly like they're better for defense when they're behind walls. Oh, hello. Excellent. Let's uh, all sit here and be defensive. And all of y'all can come in with the support, baby. Reinforcements. Let's go. See, building reinforcements automatically is a good call. And uh, these guys can heal. Exactly, they heal. You have a little army. Almost Indeed. Going, uh, almost going that way. Precisely. Yeah, meanwhile, the red army is almost approaching, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get perfect time here. No, priest, back away from me. Oh no, the sword bearers, they're so hurt. They're full health. Oh, that pharaoh's gonna get minced. Oh, the protect them. It's so important to protect them. Let's go. Oh no. Come on, man. Don't get stuck. Also, Sphinxes, please don't. Oh, here they come. Are you serious? The Guardian awakes. Yeah, baby! Also, check this guy out. He has flash damage. 2000 attack. And he regenerates too. That's important. This guy. This guy is like destruction intensified. Like. He can take down an entire army alone, just so you know. Now, I could just destroy his entire city with a guardian, but I'm feeling lazy. I'm just gonna have him destroy the army, no problem. Oh my gosh. Let's go, guardian. Go have some fun. Oh, a single... Oh, poor guy. Poor guy. Actually, you know what? Let's all work together. Friendship. Yay. Friendship. All right, the next level is gonna be pretty easy, I think. I, I just remember that like it's actually one of the easier levels, and it's also like, but concept-wise, it's pretty fun. But still, yeah, honestly, this army would be really hard to take down. Wait a minute, this is like a 
unupgraded. Yeah, they're being worshipping Isis on this one, they're worshipping Set on this one? That's bonkers to me. Yeah, that's so fucking crazy. I don't get it. Alright, go on. Use your splash. God, so many elephants are dead today, Jesus. So many bodies. So, so much death, so much destruction. So much waste. Alright, come on, last one. Hey, I won! I believe in you, you can do it! Fuck yeah, baby! Yeah, like, if you build your army in a like kind of lazy way, you'll eventually get there. Alright, the next scenario is pretty fast, so I might as well do it, and then we can take a break for a bit. Unless you want to just stop after this one. It's pretty short. Um, I mean, just, um, we can continue for now. Let's go. Osiris. Set tricked him and had him killed. His body was cut into pieces and scattered nice. across the sands of Egypt. Thank you, Wise Amara, you're the best. Was in the process of trying to destroy this one. Also, the boxes Egypt. are really, really slow. Cyrus is dead. What good is a piece of his body? It is not easy. <laughs> I love Ajax. Osiris is dead, but not dead. If we can reunite his body, he will live again. However, if Kemsit succeeds in destroying a single piece, all. Lost. Yeah, I mean, imagine if the Avengers had destroyed an Infinity Stone. That'd be great. We have walked into an ambush. Dun, dun, dun. Oh no! Get the Osiris piece the, the they kind of that was a really awkward interest in the fight. Let's go. We already start with a pretty cool base. We must rescue them. Look at that! Look at all these poles. Indeed. Let's go. All right. Immediately throwing these two god powers over here, and you'll revive all the warriors as well as like, fucking boosting everything. There's a there's a bunch of free armies over here that you can totally send. Um, send the send the, the, the like fucking piece over here. Your entire economy is like on auto. You don't really don't need to work on it very much. But I will do so anyways. Let's go. Okay, so what's the goal for this mission? I need to bring the Osiris piece, like, right into the fucking, like, uh... I need to bring the Osiris piece all the way over here. God damn it, everybody, move it. Oh my god, it's so slow. It is extremely slow. Oh my god, move it! Heroes, don't leave the piece behind. What are you doing?! Yeah, okay. See, and uh, my soldiers are coming back up. The enemy has this base where they spawn automatically things. Uh, they have this ambush prepared over here. But other than that, we should uh, be all, like, we all should be very Gucci. Right, where's my temples? Or do I have temples? All right, I do have temples. Okay. You do. I'm gonna send this over here. Then I'm gonna get this. Then I'm gonna get this and that. And, uh, fuck. Do I have a market? I can actually get to the Mythic Cage on this mission, which is something that you really don't need to worry about very much. But it's fun, because for some reason you can actually build a wonder on this mission. You don't need to, but you can! Yes! What the fuck? I forgot to keep it moving. Alright, I have more and more soldiers waiting around, so I'm gonna use this army to slow enemies down. This army of animals to just slow people down. Well, I'll use the main army that I have to actually go together. Let's go. Yeah, because like leaving this thing unattended is not a good yeah. idea. As you can see, they're already sending camels and soldiers to try and run to this pass and try to stop me. With these snakes over here, I should be able to do like a good slowing down of the enemy. Let's go. This is interesting because like your whole goal is to really look to this thing and bring it back to your base. Yeah. So it's like, uh, and the enemy has several, several fucking like things up their sleeve. Oh wow, there's a uh, there's fishing schools here that I can take. Honestly, keep a uh, keep a good attention, close attention to everything. There's always something. I got a second. Okay, no priests are going the wrong way, right? Oh my god. Yeah, you gotta keep it moving, man. Come on. Yeah, it's like they just kind of stop at some point. Yeah, you know. gotta keep it moving, you gotta be careful. I mean, also important to state, there's a lot of holes and ways that the, the enemy can attack, like, easily. Um, let me see. So you always gotta be careful. Hole! This piece is still going. The pharaoh needs to boost this. Um, what else? I love it. I, 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 I love when the forms are, like, around the town center. Me too. Alright. 
Okay, see, they're attacking each other now. They're gonna make, like, no war. Like, they're gonna totally annihilate that army, but I don't even care. As you can see, my resources are a bit, like, scattered right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, like, maybe make a couple more villagers for this. Um, you know what? You go boost this over here. And you go over here to the middle. All right, this army is not gonna be a threat. I can easily take care of it. I believe in you. Oh god, boys, it's crack. I believe in you. Yeah. <laughs> right. Look, the lucky thing too is that this is like... The camel box is... The, the camel box is really... Oh, fuck. I should have probably waited a bit because now they got support. Oh, man. Oh, well. Like, the camel box will very much struggle a bit. To, oh no, 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 no. We'll struggle a bit to just be taken by the enemy as well, so it'll always be like something a little easier for you to handle, you know? <laughs> Fucking camel noises. I love it. Alright, see, my army's doing pretty fine right now. More or less. Let's go. Oh, come on, man. What the fuck? They're just running past me. No cutting. Oh my god, yeah, they're- oh, jeez! Yeah, see? That's one of the things. Oh no. Right, well, they're not gonna make that out of here with this army, I won't let them. <laughs> like, uh, as they reach me, they will get fucked, so there's that. Yeah, I know, but we don't have to worry about it for very long, trust me. We will- see? Boom. And also, those soldiers over there just stopped, which is hilarious. Boom, excellent. Fuck yeah. See, this mission is really trivial when you have since you have those two like god powers that just make it free. If you had to actually like send an army to reach it, and like that would make the mission infinitely more difficult. Especially if you had to do any base building, that would also be insanely hard. Oh, hello. See, they're trying to ambush me from the sides. Also, ooh, let me just use the lay of the land here. As you can see, the entire map, it even has some relics here and there, but honestly nothing is really God damn it! Yeah, one thing I made once was just keep the piece outside, like, right here. And keep boosting my fucking, like, uh, my army and things just for fun to experiment with this mission. And it is pretty great, but honestly, let's just keep going. It is, like, also, if, even if you destroy this completely, they'll keep bringing soldiers by just teleporting them in. It's crazy. Okay, so we're back. And uh, this next level is going to be a bit longer. And I gotta tell you, this is one of the ones that I struggled with trying to win elegantly, but I formulated a strategy which I hope is gonna be good enough. Um, one thing that, that upset me about this level is that there is hunting to be had, but it's far away from the town centers. And it's scattered, like, if you don't want to create a granary for a single monkey with the Egyptians, you know? So it's a little bit annoying. Anyways, let's just get right on. It's also a girl boss level, which is great. Oh, we love a girl boss. We love a girl boss. Also, we were talking about Jojo before we, uh, during this cutaway, so that happens. Great scenario, you can see a wonder in the background. It is the center of and some pyramid JPEGs. That is his palace. Now, I need to get the piece to Setna. <laughs> oh no! All the men have been Setna ambushed and captured. And now you are too. And now you are <laughs> it's so too. funny, because the heroes could Setna absolutely beat these guys. And Isis is alone. Fucking Amanra is alone. Awesome. Let's go. Oh, Isis, Amanra. hear my plea. I have been betrayed by a servant of Set. Send your blessing upon me, and I will have vengeance. Hell the fuck yes. Girl boss, gatekeeping, gaslight, baby. This mission is awesome for a number of reasons one of them you get to have like three town centers right off the bat a munra can convert several monuments which makes it so that like you will be able to like just conquer so much shit it's awesome just awesome okay sending all these uh my myth units this way immediately send my um villagers this way <laughs> yeah like just focusing a lot of myth units can be really fucking helpful see there's a monkey over there and see like all these fucking monuments together man oh yes i'm gonna send like a, a single person like a couple of villagers over here and lay of the land this to show the full scale of this level all right, see, there's a tower here that's going to be sniping your uh, villagers if you're not careful. I need to keep my uh, my my 
mythic units over here before we like uh, build a, a proper defense because I'm gonna bar, bar this area here. They are so cool. They shoot fucking l fucking balls of light, man. That's awesome. Right, let's keep uh, like an oh, endless stream of villagers going. Two, like fucking gold, baby. Right. Oh fuck! They're being attacked by crocodiles. Oh no! Run, 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 run. Also, indeed. Speaking of food, let's see if I can snipe these crocodiles. Right, Amanra, where you at? Where you at, girl? Amanra, I love you. Where are you? Abadra, girl boss. <laughs> my beloved. Where the fuck is that? Did Mamundra die or something? There's supposed to be like a there's supposed to be a hero sign here. No, I mean they they there are heroes. What the fuck? Where is she? Okay, okay. Did she get inside a town center or something? It's possible. Oh no, there she is. I'm mod bro. What are you doing? Yeah, okay, so um I also start with like two fucking town centers, which is friggin' awesome. Okay, now time to send all my all these units to this place. You um go bless this thing here. All right. Oh, hello. See, um, oh, and the fuck, they're already gonna attack. Oh, oh boy. I'm on the fact that you already start from like the hero. Yeah. So like a lot of there is like a lot of things that you don't really need to just get. Indeed. It's another cool thing about starting already at this age. You get a lot of fucking resources that you usually wouldn't get. All right, come on, come on. Oh, see, I'm already being attacked over here, which is like now they can actually give you immediately some difficult waves of attacks without you having to worry about not, you not being able to take them. These pigs are gonna come in handy late, later. Also, these fucking scarabs, man. Yeah, my goal would be to um, like just I'm gonna probably attack this tower and destroy it. Maybe even proceed a little bit with this, like, this attack here. And I'm probably gonna build some guys that are, like, you know, what's the word? I'm probably gonna build some guys to, uh, fucking... Ah, uh, I forgot the word. To counter, oh my god, see? Counter these sorcerers, like, archers and stuff. Right, and, uh, now it's time to build some priests, because I need the healing. Over here. Fuck you! No, no, no! My pistuchos! I love you! Crocodile buddy! Oh, fuck! Was that my priest? It was my priest. Priest. No oh, shit. Yeah, come over here and die. Asshole. Yeah, also, we have scarabs. I don't really need scarabs, but I'm taking the Betty ways, I guess. When in Rome, use scarabs, I guess. <laughs> right, I'm gonna stop building uh, villagers and repeat here. Oh my god, there's a single guy. A single guy not doing anything. This is single Yes, an army under ice waves. Okay, Amanra, I love you, but let's let's be less homicidal here. Also, kind of sad for some reason the for some reason the fucking banners aren't appearing. Like the the idle villager banner or nothing, just not appearing. All right, let's. Really weird. I mean, there's one with the sword on the left top corner, but. Indeed. Okay. Um, building more pastuchos. I'm absolutely gonna destroy that tower ASAP. Okay, come on, come on, shit. Uh, how you doing over here? Everything's fine. Boom, expand the gold production. Ah, fuck. See, these guys are idle. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna quickly save the game and reload the save real quick. I, I, I was about to, like, suggest that, actually, because, like, uh, maybe it's just, like, a little, little, little game thing. Yeah, the idle banner thing is really helpful. Uh, nope, still nothing. Maybe I have to quit the game entirely? No, fuckers. Maybe. Alright, let's send my oh, scarabs gotta... to destroy that tower over there. Last time I did this, I essentially destroyed all these walls and built my own wall here. It was very fun. I mean, scarabs are pretty tanky, and they're great at CG, so... I wouldn't say great, because they're super slow, and their special attack is damaging, uh, damaging the area where they die, which is essentially planning for failure. <laughs> which isn't exactly very reliable, but still. Eh, not really. But yeah. like, when they do actually get to a building, they'll demolish it though. Indeed. Really quickly, so. Also, they spared you from having the Locust Swarm power and just give you this Greek power, which is Pestilence, which is actually kind of funny. The Locust Swarm is a power that is extremely situational. That is essentially just a way to antagonize enemy villagers. But I don't even remember there being villagers in this mission. If there are, they're not a threat. Okay, I'm gonna recommend. 
Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Uh, really good against, like, village. I wonder if, um, the villagers they destroy farms. Worse, I mean, they destroy farms, you know? It's something. Alright, also, I'm gonna clear out this single tree here and then go back here. Fuck that tree in particular. Come on. Okay, this is really, this is really annoying me. No. This is really bugging me because, like, uh, I need to be collecting things properly. Oh my god! My villagers, oh god! Everybody, get in the way. Sorry, villagers, it's gonna be really awkward. Really, really awkward. I mean, it's fun that they immediately start with fucking elephants too. Like that is not like a, a, an easy to counter thing usually. You guys are big bulky guys. That's why mythic units for the win. Elephants are an Egyptian mythic unit. No, not a mythic unit. Units that you get from the um, mythical fortresses, and they're super tanky. They do a great amount of damage, and the only sad part is that they're. Incredibly yeah, well. Hilar comically, catch, really. elephants are described to be good against everything. They counter everything, including buildings, which makes them extremely formidable and awesome to fight against. I'm gonna make more priests just for the sake of it, and I'm gonna upgrade my mythic units, which has been a long time coming. I'm definitely gonna make more temples as soon as I can too. Also, babe, if I could ask you anything, since I don't have the banners, it might be a good thing for you to keep- a see- ah, fuck. Keep an eye out on the on the like uh, the who's gathering resources. If food reaches zero or something, up oh, see, god damn it. When food, uh, yeah. this is a bummer. I might just restart the game, like reopen it after a little bit here. We'll see. No. Also, I can still oh, make. A... Yeah, thank you. Oh, the go oh, to the mythic age. More. I don't get to go to, go to the mythic age. Boo. Yeah. Alright, see? Now they're all fighting these caribous together. Excellent. Well, I mean, because. What the. God damn it. The idle villager banner is so useful, and you never notice it until it's gone. It's You love you so much, then it's gone. Yeah, are there. Uh, maybe there's some uh, armory upgrades? Maybe. I'm gonna check. You're I mean, using a mixture, I mean, I am not sure. Definitely. Whole, uh, I mean, still gonna use, like, for example, I'm still gonna, for example, make chariot archers when I get to, I think. Because they're gonna be very good to, like, you know, just counter other things that I usually couldn't. Uh, let me see. Also, I think getting those is, uh, yeah, maybe. isn't pretty good. Making three villagers at once with three town centers, baby. Alright, let's go. Love that. Very satisfying to do. Very, very satisfying. Alright, let's build some fucking farms here. Oh, I... Really awkward, but still. Yes? That, that's like one annoying thing when things don't perfectly align. Like, for yeah. example, there's like one thing. So frustrating. Like, you want it to perfectly align. Right, so, my friends are all in this prison here. You can see Arcanto, Setna, Chiron, Ajax. Our mission is to bring, like, we need to destroy this Midgall fortress here. To lure an army that's protecting a prison but you know what usually you're not supposed to fight the army but i'm gonna show you you can't fight the army in a way i'm gonna destroy like gargarins is whole base actually i'm gonna do it to make it you're... snappy i gotta say babe I'm feeling, um, cocky. feeling powerful let's do this All right but i am yeah. gonna i think i'm gonna reset the game in a sec oh damn Y'all good? Y'all good? I good plan because, like, if it's just, like, a, just a weird glitch, it just kind of happens. Yeah, I mean, I'm hoping it doesn't stay for the entire mission because I am managing several economies at once, but still. Oh, hello. Yeah, that's right. Go back. Little shit. <laughs> Give up. <laughs> it's like, yeah, let's go. Uh, never mind, actually. I don't want to go anymore. Oh, no, okay, yeah, well. Like, oh, this is weird. Never mind. They give up. Also, look at all these suns of rays of light. Oh, I love them so. Also, they gave me the vision power for some reason. This is a set power. I don't get it. Can you can you all move so the, the scorpion guy can attack? Please do. Okay, there. I guess. Nope, that didn't work. Damn it. All right, they're gonna take down some of my guys, unfortunately. Oh well. Well, that is that. I think all my sphinxes are dead. All my friends are dead. All my friends are dead. 
Uh, they're killing my Scorpion Man too. I'm not gonna be able to replace these Scorpion Man. I can only make Sphinxes and Pistuchos, so there's that. But still. Honestly, it's so cool that they get you, you to start off with such a massive base. Like, that's something you don't usually get in mission campaigns, but it's awesome to have. Come on, come on, kill, kill, kill. Kill, kill, kill. Oh, thank god, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna keep that Scorpion, scorpion guy at least. But you know what? I'm gonna send these uh, Scarabs to go destroy things. Let's go. Can I, um... Build a fortress here? Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> There's a snake there. Alright. Alright, these sphinxes are gonna be really helpful. Alright, now I'm gonna save again. And I'm gonna reboot the game. Hopefully the, this fixes the problem. Honestly, if it doesn't, it'll be sad. Right, uh, maybe reloading the save now is gonna do the thing? Let me try. Let's save the game back on my bullshit. Let's see. It is pretty sad because I'm actually- Oh, there it is. Excellent. Yeah, there you go. Executing my strategy has been- Like, I've been executing the strategy for this mission really well too. Which is fucking great. No. 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 Kill the monkey. Funny monkey. Die! Destroy the funny monkey. Yeah, because, uh... As you can see, like, on the right there, there's like a little uh, icon of a person standing with their arms crossed. Yeah, this is actually- the villagers not doing you go anything. To, um, you gotta move. Yeah, you go to all of the villagers that are like unassigned. So obviously this is like a fucking godsend feature game. of this game. Yeah, you really need this shit. All right, come on. I mean, some of us definitely have big brain, but like. I mean, come on. it's it's just made to help. You know, you gotta accept that help and use it because it's needed. Come on. Okay, where is my pigs? Did they take all my pigs? I think they took all my oh pigs. Oh my god, they took all the pigs. The enemies oh. took my pigs! These motherfuckers. Oh I will avenge my pigs. Uh, let's see. In which? I love the fucking sounds. Really good. Unfortunately, food is my worst resource right now, so I'm not being able to make many sphinxes, but still. Come on. I mean, you could potentially. Just like, um. Do you have some space for a bit more farms? Yeah, I do. Oh, wait. Can oh. you actually... No, I can't build a harbor in this mission, unfortunately. I'm gonna get a harbor for free later, but at that point there won't be any more challenges. Wait. Why don't I be giving you, like, the option? But not giving you... I mean, yeah, that's a shame, because going to that little fishing pond will really help. Let's go. Yeah, honestly, I'm, I'm probably gonna delete some of these priests, because, like, I don't find many mythic units on this mission, but they're really good for healing, for sure. Even though I have a lot of population, it is definitely going to, like, I'm definitely going to need it. Precisely. Indeed. Which is funny because you could just like fight elephants with elephants. That is one of my ideas, but I'm still mulling it over, as they say. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Alright. You're pondering. I'm pondering these orbs. Honestly, it's kind of funny to see all the wizard jokes lately. Come on, everybody, move it. Let's see if we can find those pigs. Pondering my orbs, more like pondering my two giant. Oh, fucking hell! Oh, shit, sorry. But move the screen. What the hell are you two doing? What the hell? And yeah, that's what, what happens. What the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck are you? Right. Uh, so, anyways, this is what we're talking about, JoJo. Yeah, no, the the allies took the took the pigs. Hilarious. Well, the pigs are all ready to like have to, to have maximum fatness. So let's go. Come on, come on. Do you ready for harvest? Uh, who is? Come on, man. Start getting the pigs. Yes, it works for, works for pigs. Uh, who's attacking? Uh, are you insane? Stop what you're doing! Immediately! Stop attacking! Immediately! Right, come on. Right, I'm gonna build a big wall, right, like from this area to that area. I'm gonna essentially oh. destroy all these guys like fucking barriers. Um, yes? What'd you say? No, just joking. <laughs> right. 
Okay, can I please? Yeah, okay, there you go. Man, I love the way that the, the, the walls work in this game. They're so fun. Let me see. I can. My economy is roaring, except for food. Darn shame. I'm gonna relocate like two villages that are over here to um, food. Yeah, like you could potentially just like uh, think uh, some of them just like can I get more food stuff? Because it's right. not like you have like very very little food, but compared to oh, you can make a market right you just sell stuff. Very true. No, I will make a market with my wood ga guys. I guess I think. Also, this mission has limited gold, and that is gonna come up. Not not that limited, but limited nonetheless. All right, let's build one over here. Did I need to invest in um in the market sometimes? Perhaps yes. Let me bring. Let me make my wood gatherers go into it. Oh, see, this gold mine is almost exhausted. You you guys, let's uh let's make a market. Let's go right down here. Are you insane? Stop attacking. Uh -huh. Crocodile. Oh fuck. Crocodiles? <laughs> yeah, no, I do. Oh, nice. Crocodiles. I love these guys so much. Counter those priests, man. Honestly, you really get to understand how much of a threat to myth units the priests are in this mission. They are not to be messed with. Let's go. They really don't? Yes. Uh, the middle what? Yeah, I open the middle on purpose so they don't go around. That's part of my strategy. You know, I use it a lot. Oh yeah, good. It is. This is how I do it. This is how we do it. Oh yeah. Also, we got laser fucking throwing crocodiles here, baby. Come on, man. Can you please? These sphinxes are so aggro. Right, let's do this right here. And then I sometimes do like this over here. And uh, maybe like I open this part over here. We connect this one. Ah, fuck, they're, they're down to the markets. Let's go. Stop attacking immediately. Lucky for me, I have so much population that it's really not a struggle. Like, I'm not worried about many things. Right, hang on. I'm gonna have these guys move over here. Uh, Gotta stop being a little naughty, sleepy baby of a baby today because usually when I when we stream, I mean all I need to do is just be cool, hot, and sexy and give commentary, so I can easily just like you know chill on my bed with my laptop like in front of you. Yeah. So it's like sometimes it's just fun to talk and lay down, Precisely. but then my brain is just like, hmm? you getting what sleepy? about nap time? You're getting sleepy. You're getting very sleepy. Ooh. Honestly, it, it's fine, babe. I mean, if you want to, like, if you started falling asleep during a stream, it would be kind of lame, but still. It's like sometimes. Oh, it, no, 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 no. Don't worry. Like, I, I will say, like, there have been very little times that I have actually fallen asleep. Oh no, my scarabs are dying. I'm so sad. That's. I, I don't remember. More than Oh, like, do you remember a time, babe, where I legitimately like fell asleep and you like left the house and I was like, still there sleeping? I have really more happened. sex care to spawn. It? it happens, honestly. What are you gonna do? Honestly, I don't mind it. Also, um, it's high high time that I start making some fucking chariot archers. I've been taking so long. Oh, these poor this poor scarab. Yeah. Like you, you basically just kind of been dreaming at the moment, and from what I like, you have to find this place left, and you have to really get them down to the earth. You have a ton of like, places where you are. Absolutely. Indeed. Like, it is a shame, but I really don't like how, like, mythic units and camels mix visually on a, on a fucking, like, a, on a team, I'd say. I'd rather have them be separated, but, like, it's hard for me to like i guess it's just the coordination you know of the troops doesn't feel as good all right any more upgrades no just in case i'm gonna get these upgrades here maybe make some axemen later but probably not all right spending some more food not gonna make any siege towers oh they're still at the pigs nice i guess it works for pigs let me see anything else no checking 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 one two three one two three 
I really, I never, there is such a thing as buying mercenaries for the Egyptians. Uh, they are temporary units that die, but are quote unquote cheap. I never, ever take them. They're like, most worthless fucking thing. You see, there's a guy here. I'm gonna send all my villagers to attack. Also, again, look, this is really not a big army, is it? Damn. No, I think I'm gonna try attacking them over here this time. Let's see how that works. Oh, hello. There's a fully upgraded champion guy. But he's ignoring them, I think. Yeah, he's just ignoring them. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, this happened on the last mission too, just ignoring- Oh fuck, she killed one of my guys. Uh, this is a wadget, they really can't fight for, for shit. Look at that. Can you help? Hello? No, I can't help. Alright. We're gonna build a fortress here just for protection, and then I'm gonna build a gold mine all right here. In which? In which? I, love, I gotta say, look at the fortresses have such a cool fucking they design. Do. Like and I love that there's like fortresses for. <laughs> yes. And I absolutely love that there's fortresses for like every culture. Fuck. I fucked that one up. Like the fucking. Oh, fortress is about to get down. Get down! Number one victory royale! 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 Jeff knife about to get down! I love that super intense battle of Tomato Town music. Hey Red, glad to have you. It's been a little bit quiet of a stream, so... Alright, everybody in the gold? You two getting the gold? I prefer to say no one can stop Battle of Tomato Town. My God, you actually know the lyrics. Oh fuck! Fuck! Run back! Run back! Unbelievable. I have a, I have a, a cringe girlfriend. Yes. You know what I found funny is that Estelle, the singer of the original, people know her. Like, oh my God, it's Estelle. It's voice actor Arnett, and I'm like. You don't know if you didn't know who we were before, Garden? <laughs> like, she is like a really famous dude. What the fuck? Oh my god, they attacked me from this side. That's crazy. I didn't think they were ever gonna do that. Alright, go get him, go get him. Alright, and the rest of you actually can advance. Let's go. Because we're gonna defend this side now. Alright, after you're done with this, go over here. Hopefully, they won't destroy my mid goal. I, play I paid for that. Ah, oh, motherfuckers. Yeah, these siege towers attack really slowly. I really don't consider them much of a threat. Also, I'm, yes. I'm so sorry. Like, the fact that we were, like, working on the phone for two hours and just died. That is sad. Jesus. So, you couldn't save the phone after all? Maybe we should have a stream. Rest like, in pieces. And, like, Darn lost. shame. Oh my god, you know what I wish... What? Like... And like carbonara, like the pasta, the oh, so good, so fucking good. But like, how shrimp are so expensive? So I'm like, mm. like pasta with like carbonara with shrimp. I never even thought of that. Actually, that's interesting. Hmm. Uh, but it's just, something happened, and I don't know what happened, but I didn't work on it. Uh, I did originally, which makes it so annoying. Oh, because like. You don't really like know what um like you're just kind of like looking what the other person is doing and you're just trying to fix someone else's yeah, mistake. Yeah, I mean fixing someone else's mistake is definitely not the same as fixing your own mistake because you actually know what you did. But fixing someone exactly. else's mistake, like, a whole other that, thing. On it, like then at least you could be like scolding yourself, and now you're just like kind of busy with something. Precisely. Like, someone else was doing, and that's annoying. Precisely. Okay, let me, uh, okay. Then under attack over here? Oh, yeah, they're attacking from this side. Alright. <laughs> this shirtless guy won't stand a chance. Alright, I'm gonna build two layers just in case. Gotta keep an eye out for that. 
I love that that's just that's really like a strategy you can do. Just... More than one layer. Sometimes the, the enemies will be annoyed and not get through. Ah, oh, fuck, there's a, there's a fucking thing guy. They're like, oh my god, there's like two walls in front of here, and there's like, and there's like one wall that is like really easy to get. Like, get in here, the sheriff, and he's over out here! Okay, okay, I'll fuck. Yeah. I mean, look at this shit. <laughs> I'm kind of going OP right now. I think I built a lot more uh, fucking chariots th than I needed to, but still though. Also, these pastouches are unironically a really powerful archer. One of the main things they are so powerful is their range. They can shoot so far, and that's legendary. Alright, is everything okay over here? Oh my god, did the, did the villagers... Yep, they're going around. Stop it, stop it, get some help. Okay, how's the battle going? Are, are you winning, son? <laughs> oh my god. Are you winning, son? Like, come on. Yeah, I think I'm winning. Wait, what? Okay, let's let's go back here. Oh, what the? Oh my god! There. Motherfucker. He was destroying all my fucking, like, uh, things over there so much. Little shit. <laughs> oh, I maximum population! Okay then, let's go. You know, this time, I'm gonna go a little spicy and attack from this side, why not? Oh, already done here? Alright. Let me see, I mean, I don't even need to, but I'm gonna build some siege uh, makers over here, just to see what happens. Let's test out. But honestly, this army is extremely formidable. And usually when you're playing skirmish, you can't make something of this scale, because you don't have as much, like, a fucking, you know, capacity for population. But being able to make oh, something right. like this... Oh, this guy's brave, though. Super brave. Oh, this guy's dead. <laughs> he is brave, and he's dead. All these people with, like, a single spear facing down an entire army. Honestly, I don't care how much they pay me, I would fucking run. Oh. <laughs> Why do they have a single lumber camp? They're not using it. Sometimes Whatever. I think about that one I'm image, but it's just really just like, oh, are you having trouble with something? Just quit. Just go. Just run. Your path would be easier. Your path would be easier, but I don't care for easy. Let's go. Oh yeah, this army is bigger than it looks now. Well, we still got this. Oh, boy. We got this. Yeah, I oh, fuck yeah. I'm gonna focus fire with my soldiers and shit. Very specific shots. Well then. Alright, everybody come a little closer so the archers can fire. Yeah, this army is a pushover. I mean, compared to mine at least. There's, there's so many noises of like crunching, but I don't see what's causing the crunching. I think it's the sphinxes attacking the the catapults. Oh, hello. You know, you can die now. I'm gonna make the pharaoh my thing. You know what? The uh, the city of Gargarensis is right here. I'm gonna just go ahead and destroy things. Oh shit! Oh no, they're destroying everything. That's a bummer, isn't it? Oh no. Make some soldiers yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, it's annoying. Like, a single siege weapon resists- oh shit. Look at that. God damn. These priests are gonna- oh, there's a son of Osiris! <laughs> Alright. Focus fire on this guy. He can't heal, he's a hero, and he's extremely strong. You can mince your mythians. But if you focus fire, he gets killed easily and boom. Okay, now my army can focus on everything else. I don't even mind if my army dies here, because like... I can totally kick their ass here, and make another no problem. Yeah, you have enough resources to easily make another. Precisely. I mean, I'm making reinforcements right fucking now, so you know. Come on, Amunra is getting killed. God damn. All right, let's go. Oh, that's a hero has fallen. That's Amunra. That's the hero that has fallen. Uh, let me build some more chariot archers just for funsies. 
Okay, I'm just spending a couple of my resources. Can I destroy this tower? Yeah, they're making soldiers to try and get my ass. Surprisingly, the Stushas aren't even that bad against towers and buildings. Look at that. So amazing. So satisfying. It doesn't even get annoying. Okay, a miner's gonna get herself killed like this. God, it's absolutely insane. Honestly, Dave, you should just be deeper. You should be first to do it. Okay, I will. And God, I'm gonna use Pestilence over here. There. Now they can't make any more, um, they can't produce any more units while I'm here. My reinforcements are arriving. Yes, they are, baby. Not very mythic unity, but still. Gonna be worth it. Alright, let's fucking go. Uh, oh shit. I gotta say, babe, these are like the small moments where I'm just really hurt. Indeed. I fucking enjoy, like, absolutely dominating the map, even if it isn't perfect, like, honestly, like, usually you, it's better to go in from this side, alright? Like, it, it's better to get in from this side and just destroy things normally, but still. It's still mm -hmm. interesting to do things this way, just spices it up, you know? Yeah, this is gonna be a very unefficient takedown of this fortress, because I don't have any melee units. <gasps> what is that guy doing? He's just kind of bobbing up and down here. Never mind, is the final gonna attack? Oh, he dies. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> yeah. My main army is almost over, so you know what? I'm gonna, like, destroy the fortress and pull back. And, like, rebel, pretty much. As soon as I destroy this, of course. Now, honestly, I could have done this more efficiently if I attacked from the front, but still. And... Got to. Everybody go back. God, I like the voice acting, though. Oh. Yep, I already destroyed the troops, so it's fine. It. <laughs> Monra's just like drawing some arrows to her butt. Something happening, and I don't know what happened, but it didn't work in the original, which makes it so annoying. Yeah, if you don't have like, if you don't have the knowledge of what happened, it's really just worse than the entire thing. Also, for perspective, making these regular ass soldiers really isn't that good of an idea. They're kind of aren't really reliable. Like, I, I would not recommend making these guys. I mean, this is why it's way more fun to just make a giant army. Indeed. This is why, like, uh, I'm definitely gonna rebuild my army of myth units, and I'm gonna sacrifice these guys just for funsies. Let's go. And I'm gonna destroy these town centers and then take them for my own! Do it. Because uh, I like dominating the map sometimes. Let's go. And some missions are a bit more annoying than others, but still. What the hell is my pharaoh doing over there? Let's go. He respawned. He's like a gamer. He doesn't die. Response. <laughs> Don't worry, Birdly won't die. He'll respawn. Even if he does no grave route, it's fine. <laughs> Honestly, reminding of Deltarune for a second. Oh my god, these towers are so strong. <laughs> reminding of like Deltarune for a second. I was thinking about like you know the the regular like pacifist route. And you know thinking about that that boss fight that's against the against the music guys, the CD boys. And I'm just thinking, like, who would not, like, choose not to do that, honestly? It's it's such a wholesome, fun time. Like, it's so cool and nice. I cannot imagine deriving joy from any other form of playing. They couldn't even destroy a tower, see what I mean? And it's just, it's just bonkers to me. Like, I guess the whole thing of, like, doing genocide route is like, oh, yeah. Let's us uh, see what would happen if I like become a monster or something or like that. But eh, like I seriously, what? Just like I don't see any other potential in, in the whole Undertale series other than just be doing the nice route. It's always the funnest. It's always the most joyful. I don't get it. You know, it's kind of. I guess I'm just too nice. I I don't know. I don't know why. Like a lot of people just like have that Indeed. feeling of like, hmm, I wanna, I wanna see the most fucked up little ending that a game has to offer, and then they just like, only look at that. <laughs> yeah, but that's the most hilarious thing. Even though I know what happens in a genocide route, I've never had like a, a fucking, I never had a fascination with it. Hell, when I played Delta Room Chapter Two. It didn't even cross my mind that there was a quote-unquote evil route, you know? Like, I didn't even think of that. Not me either. Like, I mean, I... I... It's 
<laughs> you first. No, sorry, I, like, it didn't even think of that. I did not care, honestly. Like, it was so in the back of my head. It actually just shocked me when, like, when I did or heard that there was one. I was like, oh, yeah, some people actually play the game that way. <laughs> and it just honestly, like, it's just, it's bonkers to me. I don't know. I don't relate, you know? Don't relate it's, at it's all. It's really funny because, like, um, I mean, I mean we, we know from, like, the vocal buzz, you're definitely the person that uh, is least scared of things all the time i mean if i watch a horror movie i will be like oh my god hello uh, um, and i would probably just be like oh it's so scary oh no i'm, I'm so can you sense the sarcasm I mean, show up by this haunting of hill house you know how i can be oh, yeah. so it was very fun to watch haunting time, of hill house with you but at the same time when it comes to like games like this where there's like for example like an evil route or there's like uh, some fun I'm like looking at it with my crummy little hands and be like, ooh, this is very interesting. It's I'm so terrified. creepy and fucked up and evil. I would like to know more about it. And I don't know, man. Honestly, if it wasn't for people actively showing me, I never would have even looked up the, the fucking like genocide route and Deltarune. I honestly wouldn't. I mean, this kind of reminds me of, um, I'm, I'm not sure if you're like aware of this, but there has been like, to you. A really big like uh, blow up of these like true crime stories. I don't I know if you so. really kind of like heard about those. Like, uh, it's the, the I guess I have. And talk about like crime stories that actually like happened or like movies, series, I, uh, that type of stuff. And I think I know what you're talking what about. It is humans, it's like, we, just we have a fascination really... with fucked up shit. It happens. Honestly, like that's uh, the I thing. I can understand, honestly. I can understand the fascination wanting to do these things. I mean, Undertale, like, maybe I've been thinking about time loop stories so much, but with Undertale, it kind of feels like, you know, you have access to recreating this world non-stop. So you do want to have this experience of like, oh, what would happen if I would like start killing everything? I'm curious, why not? You know, like, why, why the fuck not? And so you become the most horrible creature that ever lived and you're greeted with a boss fight that actively serves to punish you in a very befitting way. I like that a lot. That's a good like sign of the game. Even if the genocide wrote you know? Yeah. When I was um I don't know what it was when uh, my undertake came out and I pointed it for myself. <laughs> um like the true path of this route first to the yeah. I knew all of the endings, so I was like, oh my god, I gotta go for the ending. Yeah, yeah. And later on, yeah, I was I like, am. well, I mean, I, I know what happens in a genocide account, but like... I, I would experience it, because I, I have to. That's a really cool. And then I actually really did play the genocide run, I and I beat on time, and I got the sand. And Sans, of course, started fucking judging me because, duh, I killed literally a fucking everybody. Because you deserve it, <laughs> but duh. Funny enough, <laughs> but funny enough, baby Kimmy was literally just like, oh my god, no. And I'm so sorry, I'll never do this again. And then they, like, deleted my save. Well, like, in, as in, like, searching everything, you know, like, the way that, like, even Sans won't remember what the fuck I did. And then I played the past <laughs> sure. around. Till the end, and I'm like, I'm never gonna touch this game again. Yeah, honestly, like, that's the power of Undertale right there. It actually made you feel like you were the monster that was, like, causing all these things. And it's, you know, like, if you think about it in real life terms, Sans won, you know? And that's great. Like, that's the thing. It is just a game, but it managed to simulate, simulate the energy of, like, you shouldn't be a piece of shit that kills people for the fun of it really well, and I like that, honestly. Very commendable. And, no, uh, I do, I, sometimes I do read the story for something really weird and weird. I mean, I don't, I don't even like horror because I like war or anything. Like, I am, but like, one thing that I did that person like, definitely, like, really makes me comfortable is, like, torture scenes. Like, that is, like, the stuff that I'd rather just fucking skip. Like, I don't know. It tends to be gratuitous violence. And, but at the same time, I'm like, ooh, fucking psychological shit happening to a character, and they're like in a, in a sort of threatening situation and trying to get out of it, and I'm like, ooh, this is very interesting. Tell me more. 
Like, for example, I never really liked the it movies. I don't know, that clown did nothing. People were horny for the clown, it did nothing. Oh man, you're talking about It, aren't you? The fucking clown movie? Yeah, that honestly sucks so much. I really don't understand why people are horny for clowns. If you want to fuck a monster, Venom is right there. It's just being into Venom, that's much better. Also, they are completely destroying all my sphinxes, I hate that, but oh well. No, no, I'm gonna build some a support army of camels, let's go. Yeah, one thing that I think is a little sad when it comes to, like, uh, with, like, the economy, is that, like, uh, I think a lot of people have bought that movie, uh, they tend to get association of, like, ooh, clowns are scary. You yeah, know, like I mean, yeah, I don't scary. think, like, I think, like, perpetuating this cycle of, like, making clowns look like they're evil and fucked up is really sad and frustrating, because, like, you know, the literally the whole point of clowns is to bring joy to the world, but honestly, that, I digress. The truth to be told, like, I, I don't really, like, I'm not a clown's right activist, but if I were, I would be weeping because of the influence that so, like, that fucking media has gotten on clowns. Sorry, Cl just a word like my class. It's like, yeah, I'm a clowns' rights. Clowns have rights. <laughs> you know, it's like so silly to me. But okay, it is. Yes. Reminds me of um. Do you do you remember? Uh, do you know of those like? Uh, have you heard of you, you heard of Juggalos before, right? I have. I know that they paint their faces, but it's like black and white stuff. I don't really know how it works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, uh, Magnus uh, actually was really into like uh, listening to. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. It seems like Magnus Core. Yeah. Uh, but it, it's it's really funny because like they they're like uh, yeah we're like clowns, but they're literally like super like progressive and stuff and like anti-fascism and everything. And I mean I'm not a jiggle of shell or or anything. Nice. Like, really but Antifa clowns, baby. Uh, whoop whoop. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> honestly, I fucking don't know much about Juggalos, but mad respect to Antifa clowns. Come on, man, that's awesome. Let's go. Right. Also, it's good to also approach your archer so all of them have a chance to shine. Like that, baby. Honestly, okay. I've been, uh, I kind of feel like there's like a lot of, um, into like I don't really feel it. You know, uh, years ago, like, uh, Juggalos and stuff. Always have to do stuff like that emote. No, the more or less. I don't know. Like, it's, yeah. it's, 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 I'm trying to, like, think about what to say. Yeah. It's, 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 it's more like I'm thinking of, like, different, like, subcultures at the moment that are, like, existing. Stupid enough, you know, I think of a school girl. And that is, like, just an aesthetic, right? <laughs> The aesthetic of girl? I mean, one thing that I find funny yeah. is that there there does seem to be like a culture that's rising slowly about sexy clowns, and I think that's fun. <laughs> like people are like actually appreciating appreciating like sexy clowns, and not because of that movie It or whatever. Like people being into sexy clown girls, that's funny. I've actually drawn a sexy clown girl before because I wanted to contribute to that thing. You know, like th I think clowns deserve that. Boing boing, am I right? <laughs> yes. Boing boing, indeed. I also, sorry for the really slow takedown of this base. I, I, all my, I don't have any siege weapons. Yeah, oh my. I'll be honest. I've been so. I like thinking about like clowns now, I'm totally not even like, paying attention to whatever is happening. It's I don't fine. I am just anyway, slowly so taking down all these all these bases and stuff. There's not much happening. If I had like catapults and stuff, this be faster. Well, you know. As it stands, I'm just <laughs> doing my best. Sometimes it's just fun to take a take a little time. Yeah. Do a little thing. Make a little love. Uh, get down tonight. Ba -ba, get down. Wait, are they being attacked? Oh my god. Everybody fuck up this priest in particular. Come on. Yes! Kill! Murder and maim! Fuck him up. Honestly, that's something that's really fun. 
Yeah, the villagers just really all just gang up and start stabbing someone to just shank a bitch, you know? One thing that I really enjoy about, like, th that I find really funny about competitive is that sometimes, like, if you bring a single unit to attack villagers uh, against, like, skirmish or whatever, they will fight back. They will fight back hard. And they will punish you for thinking that you can, like, take down their 20 villagers. And sometimes soldiers are not enough, you know, like, if you have mythic units, they're probably gonna do better, but still. These motherfuckers, they're strong and they're here to fucking kill you. Alright, let me see. Excellent. Like, uh, imagine like 20 villagers from the Atlanteans. Oh, I yeah, know. like villagers, they can take down like bears alone. I think that's fucking sick. Alright, let's go. Okay. Also, camels are cool, fast as fuck, actually do damage, and counter both archers and cavalry, which is really good, but they're kind of flimsy, which is a bit of a sadness to them. You know what? I'm gonna build some stuff here for the sake of it. I mean, might as well, right? Yeah, indeed. <laughs> Make even more units. Precisely, man. I got the resources for it. Let's go. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. I, I wish I could, but I don't have docs, remember? I do have- I have to reach this boat over here, take it over here to get a navy, where I can actually get docs and stuff. It's great. That's so funny. Indeed. I mean, that's the thing. I'm gonna be taking down these units from range over here. Fuck yes, baby. Oh, wait a minute. What? What is? Oh, there's still a tower over there. No, buddy. Also, they are. I mean, there's a tower over there. One thing that I enjoy about camel riders is that it's actually legitness that camels are really fast and they can be really dangerous on a battlefield like camel riders were a thing you might be thinking camels are like beasts of burden that are pretty slow that is not exactly true they were legitimately used in battle and they were pretty efficient at it too i mean camels are literally being used to cross the desert these bitches are fucking determined they have stamina baby uh, let's see. Oh, there's a couple of houses over there. I will destroy those. Can we just talk about My the fact house. that, like, humans have always, like, found ways to oh, yeah. nature to just, like, get around? I, I think mean, it's... camel, bulls, cows, chicken. I mean, I think for, like, a minute, like, oh, and dogs, really, like, literally, like, her ancestors looked at, like, funny little, like, wolf creatures, and they're like, you know what? Precisely. I have, like, 20 years. May I have some more? Perhaps some do domestication like a boss. Oh my god, there's a pharaoh over here. Let's go back, buddy. Cats were literally like domesticated because like they're just great at taking care of like pets, really. Yeah. Honestly, it's adorable to imagine the first humans that started bonding with cats and domesticating and like, you know, using them to take care of pets. That is just so wholesome. I mean, why the fuck did they, um, why the fuck did, uh, did, did you think that there's like a fucking like cat girl, um, Egyptian god because like they fucking love cats cat and be like you know what these bitches are fucking amazing I want to worship this yeah, I think the first like uh the first fucking uh classified cat that ever existed that was like you know n actually you know a pet was called Nejim I think which was Egyptian for sweetie obviously I'm not correct like I'm not saying that properly because I don't understand it ancient Egyptian but like actually having a little kitty and calling it sweetie such a long time ago is so nice. That is fucking it's human like, culture uh, right there. I mean, I think I remember reading somewhere that there's like a, a inscriptions of um of like a story of, of like a dog and its name Spot if you translate it from Latin. Oh so my like, god. <laughs> nice. People were naming People dogs Spot so er early ago. That's amazing. I know. Very, very in character. Alright, I'm gonna build some uh, chariot archers here. It should be enough. Let's go. Uh, I mean, obviously, like, right now we have, like, a lot of, like, domestic and stuff. I mean, if we have, like, the basic type of pets, like cats, dogs, birds, that type of stuff. But I wonder, in the past, if people had, like, the weirdest fucking, like, pets. Someone took a snail uh, from the street and was like, this is my new pet now. I mean, I'm pretty sure... 
Okay, so really dumb thing, the footage I recorded got Into corrupted, you. so I had to redo this entire part. Really Into frustrating you. and annoying, but you know, what are you gonna do? So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, I'll just I'll just fucking put them on right there Into as fast you. as possible and just finish it up. Because it's actually a pretty cool cinematic at the end of this. It's a shame though, we didn't get to do our proper goodbyes and all. Come on, come on, yes, okay. Uh, just ignore everybody, I didn't even get to destroy the base completely this time, but you know, let's go. We must escape this city. Booyah. Victorious! Yeah, it's a shame, honestly. We talked about fun things. No, we didn't talk more about sexy clowns. That's gonna be for the next stream. <laughs> right, here comes so, a really cool Senna, cinematic. All the well, other priests really of cool Osiris were imprisoned too? Some were left to die in the desert. But why did he want to kill Osiris? I mean, honestly, I, I just like to have these conversations in prison. Like, they weren't just statically you waiting for to me hide behind prison. something when I see you, Cyclops. But you Amandra's rescue is still very valid. Prison. Escaped the underworld and arrived here. God, I like his voice acting. There is no way you did this on your own. I will know which gods support you. Now, <laughs> do this Lord on his own. Yeah, watches I mean, over all the he's got his lands. friends behind him. Lord Poseidon. Just like an anime. <laughs> You're more a fool than I expected. Let's see if he's watching over you. Now. You're gonna stab him through the bars or something? Oh, here comes Ajax with an iconic line. You may feel less like fighting after I pull off your head. Oh yeah, baby. I will <laughs> deal with you all in due time. God, Ajax the best. We have more pressing matters to Oh, Kimson was with him the entire time? Man, he's invisible, isn't he? <laughs> Alright then. Well, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. See you in the next one. It's gonna be probably a level, hopefully not as long as this, but it's gonna be pretty long if I try destroying everything like I did in this time. Um... Maybe I'll try to stream streamline it a bit and do it easily. Well, bye!